Hi guys, thank you for tuning in to the Jurassic J Show. There we go. So here at Jurassic J, we're going to be speaking about one specific thing, and that is fossils. Fossils is the topic for today. Now, what is a fossil, Jurassic J? Well, that's a, that's a great question to me. A fossil, according to Dictionary.com, is, quote, any remains, impression, or trace of a living thing of a former geological age, such as a skeleton, footprint, etc., end quote. But this question's been bothering me ever since I was a young and st studying paleontology, and that is, how are fossils formed? Well, that's a great question. A fossil generally is coming from a living creature. So you have your animal, he's living and doing his thing, and then he dies. And then over time, his soft tissue, aka his muscles, his flesh, it's either eaten away or eventually decays. And all that remains left is bone. So over the next millions of years, chemicals in the bone are replaced by minerals. So the once bones of the animal become more chemically like a rock. Aww, yeah! What kind of fossils are there, Jurassic J? So we know fossils are basically bones that have been chemically transformed into, into what we would call rock. But there are four kinds of fossils. First, we have mold fossils. Now, mold, these are molds or impressions that an animal leaves when it dies. It isn't the animal itself, but it, it's like the animal snow angel. It, except it's like a fossil angel. Second. We have cast fossils. So this is when an animal dies and sediments of rock fill the mold of where it died. The mold or cast is the fossil. The sediments that filled it in. Crazy, right? All right. So, number three, we have trace fossils. These are also called ichnofossils, but they're basically anything created by the animal, but it's not necessarily the animal itself. So trace fossils could be footprints, nests, tracks, or a home an animal might have dug itself. So that brings us to our fourth kind of fossils, called true form fossils. Now these are the cream of the crop of fossils out there. That is because true form fossils are the actual animal itself. It's the anatomical parts of the animal. It's a, it's a leg bone, or an arm bone, or heck, a bug trapped in amber. Ooh, Jurassic Park. Alright, now that we've covered what a fossil is, how a fossil is formed, and the four kinds of fossils, this only leaves one last thing to do. The paleontologists have to go out and separate the fossils from other rocks. And then, you guessed it, we've got a fossil, folks! <sighs> Alright guys, that's all I have for this episode. Thank you for tuning into the Jurassic J Show. Now, I'd love to hear any comments or questions you have, so just leave it in the comments section. Any future suggestions for episodes, I'd love to hear. But that's all I got for today, folks. More episodes to come. Thank you for tuning in to the Jurassic J Show.